welcome back to a very special episode of ChemKid, and today I'm excited to announce my brand new project, the EOS project, or the Edge of Space project. This project is all about one, maybe even two, four foot tall 3D printed rockets with sophisticated flight computers. This episode is specifically part one of the launch pad, the launch pad for these rockets. The rocket is going to have eight fins and one to three rocket motors, like I said before. Now, things like the uh, launch lugs, the nose cone, the launch pad itself, even the fins, they're all going to be 3D printed. The reason I'm going to 3D print these is because it's cost effective, because I actually currently own two 3D printers. And I don't have to go buy things like cardboard, balsa wood, and other parts of plastic because it's just more expensive and it takes more time, whereas I can 3D print one in a few hours and it's almost no labor involved. Links for all the files so you can 3D print the parts yourself are going to be left in the description. The body of the rocket will be made out of cardboard because it's light and cheap and it would be way too heavy if I 3D printed the body of the rocket. Now the rocket's going to have a small camera inside so you'll be able to see what the rocket sees as it's going up. This video is all about the launch pad. The launch pad is 3D printed and is going to have a plaster base to protect from the heat from the rocket motor. Depending on what rocket motors we use or the orientation of the rocket motors will vary the height that it can go and the payload that it can carry. Right now the payload it's going to be carrying is a small camera so you can see what it sees. Later on in the process we're going to have that flight computer I was talking about earlier so that way we can find data. Uh, see how the rocket was acting while it was up in the air. Uh, on board the rocket, we're also going to have the parachute. The rocket, while in air, when the ejection charge, which is in the rocket motor, is deployed, it will crack the rocket in the center uh, in a safe way, and the parachute will pop out and slow down the rocket's terminal velocity so it doesn't break when it hits the ground at high speeds. It'll gently slow down and hit the ground. I will be releasing long and in-depth videos of how to build it so you can build it along with me. A materials list will be in the description so that way you know exactly what you need to build it. But this video cannot happen without your support. Now I will be paying for as much of the project as I can out of pocket, but I, can't, I don't have the flexibility that other YouTubers have and I don't have the publicity that other YouTubers have, which means I have less money, which means I can't do giant projects. This in and of itself is not actually a super expensive project. The goal is to raise $100 by this fall. But if you want this project done, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated if you can donate absolutely any amount of money. There's a link in the description to a GoFundMe page where you can donate for this project. That way, that'll cover the entire project and everything that I'm not paying for out of pocket. Because I'm using crowdfunding, this allows me to make this a really high quality project so the videos are going to be a little bit higher quality than they usually are and a little more exciting and in-depth. I'll begin posting these videos as soon as I can afford it or you guys have donated enough money that I can buy the components. Uh, so for this video I have already built and purchased all the pieces for the launch pad. I want you guys to donate if you genuinely like my content and you want it to be better. The point that I'm here on this channel is to show science to the rest of the world and what I like to do and maybe it's inspire some other people to do science as well. The only way this project can happen is with your support so please click the link in the description and hopefully we can get rid of this project then. So without further ado here is EOS part one the launch pad. Now, if you do not have a 3D printer to 3D print the base, then you're going to have to use your imagination, and this project is pretty flexible, so it doesn't really matter. If you use the 3D printed version of the base, you're going to have to use some two-part epoxy to glue the both pieces together. The brands does not really matter. I'm using a brand called JB Weld. Try to use epoxy and not another adhesive because it's much stronger and will last longer.
Now we're going to have to mix up about 250 milliliters of plaster Paris and then we are going to pour this inside the base to keep it heat resistant from the rocket engine flame during takeoff. After that is done, make sure to tap the entire thing and shake it and try to get as many bubbles out of it as possible because if there are bubbles it will create voids that may break and be extra fragile. Now you can see that our plaster has made this fire resistant. Well, thank you everybody for watching. That's all for today's video. Stay tuned for part two. Please subscribe and like this video.